What's up, everybody? This is Sticky Tech. Welcome to episode 14. Oh, look at the little sluggy boy. Oh, oh, look at the little slug. Oh, you purple. Oh, you, all oh, your line. All right, welcome back to another one. I got all my belts belted up from my truck stops for my dirt, peat, and bog over to my little platform here. But I do have this overwhelming unsettling feeling that this is not going to be enough space. I, I know this is something new, never seen that before, but uh, I do have that feeling once again. I'm also not that thrilled about where I'm deciding to put this. I didn't consider it's right next to this big factory and I don't think it's going to look very good just kind of sitting here. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll just use it for getting my slug colors into the later game slug colors and then get rid of it after then and after I've unlocked all the slug tree but we'll see before we can start doing any of that the most important thing we need to do is get our dirt nodes trucked over here so let's set up the truck routes Okay, now that we got those truck routes set up, our dirt, uh-oh, is screwed up and crooked? What the heck, dude? Wait a minute, why are there solar panels? Okay, so once all these solar panels get out of the system and I start having dirt, I got dirt, bog, peat, which is fine because it's the order that I found it into. That's probably the order that we're going to need to use it in. Now I need to pull up my notes from when I was doing slugs before and try to remember all the ratios and everything. We're going to want to grass down the tree, which means we need yellow eggs and purple eggs because we definitely have slugs and 200 cryolite and we have our 200 white slugs. Uh, I think I got rid of all my fabric, unfortunately. So I might have to set up a little bit of that. Here it is. For anybody who's curious, this is what I made up for uh, when I did slugs. Maybe I've shown this before, I don't think I have, but yeah. So let's go by this. And this is exactly why I don't think I have enough space. This right here. I'm sure I'm gonna need multiple of these at some point. This is why I need the fix it fax it stuff set up <laughs> I'm out of screws I, who runs out of screws Ugh. okay we got our initial little setup going I'll explain that in just a second but first I wanted to mention that I am planning on making a guide to slugs and slug breeding I, I don't know why but saying slug breeding like breeding in any video game is just weird to me like that word breeding is strange it just makes me uncomfortable so I'm going to make a slug guide, but just a quick overview and all we really need to know for this episode is that when you have two slugs and you put them in the slug terrarium, they make a slug egg, 
When you hatch an egg, there is a chance that you will get a different, rarer color of slug. For example, you might get a yellow or a white slug out of a blue slug egg. And that kind of goes on and on. You take your yellows and you can get a lime colored slug and or a purple, I think. And then you take your purples and you can get a violet colored slug, etc, etc. And there's a whole mam tree to kind of support this. But going back to what we have here, uh, I just want to preface this again with this is totally temporary until we can get the slug slime unlocked through the mam tree. And then we'll make something permanent. Basically what we have going on is I've got one seed extractor for just uh, wheat and carrots and then one seed extractor just for mycelia and then I have a problem here that we'll find out in a minute uh, but I have the wheat, carrots and mycelia seeds going into the farming plot over here and I have two wheat or I'm sorry two mycelias and a wheat and a carrot the wheat and the carrot go to make the grainy snail food for our snail boys. And then the mycelia comes over here and just makes fabric. Because uh, there was a couple of milestones in the MAM for the slugs that needed fabric. So this is kind of where we're at. Um, this is a thousand percent temporary. I just want to move along until we get the energized slug slime and then we can kind of make a permanent decision. Uh, plus, look at how cluttered this is. It's disgusting. A little bit of clipping right there. Ugh. Alrighty. Got that. Oh, nope, need fabric. <clears throat> One second. Okay. Fluid tank module. I, uh, I'm not thrilled about seeing that that's a thing, because now we're going to have to get some water over here, probably for some slugs pretty soon. Ooh, power shards, though. Invar pipes, I think. Yep. Okay, so we're on hold for a little while on those. We do have lime slugs, which are up pretty soon coming out of yellow slugs. So power shard frame, energized slug slime, power shard. I wonder if you make this frame and then put energized slug slime in it and that's how you get a power shard. And then high energy module. Need a power shard for that? Five power shards. What's this? Basic power modules. Bunch of high energized slug slime. So we have low energized slug slime here and high here. And then what is this? Oh, mineral slug slime. Okay, looks like aluminum. Aluminium. So for now, we need to get the 20 purple eggs. But the best way... Well, I guess the best way to do that is to convert this into purples. But I wanted to wait until I got at least my two green lime slugs. Have I gotten any? Oh, I got one. Nice. Okay, so once I get one more, then uh, we'll convert to purple. So the other thing I want to check out before we get too far into the slugs is... Oh, man, that's loud. Um, how much energized slug slime the miner actually needs for quantum crystals. And I guess how serious it's going to be. Like, I'm going to have... I have 60 dirt coming in right now. Is that not enough? I can get up to 120 if I need to just take my other slug factory down. But is that going to be enough to just sit here and fully, you know, fill this miner? Okay, so everything's good. Green, green, green. Um, energized slug slime. Oh, you don't know how much you need? Oh, 15 per minute. Oh, that's energized? Low energized is 7.5. Um, that sounds like a small enough number. We should be fine. So how do I get energized slug slime? <laughs> I have... Energized is consumed by a turbine. But you don't know how to produce it. Low energized slug slime plus some quartz crystals gives you your power shard crystal. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know. But seven and a half low energized slug slime doesn't sound so bad. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect timing, perfect timing. I was just starting to set up a weird little purple slug thing on the side to kind of run both at the same time. But don't need to, because two lime slugs. Let's go. 
Okay, so the reason I wanted those two lime slugs is so I don't have to go back to yellow again. So now we can just do purple. Okay, so I have six eggs, which I'll put in here. And we need to make the temperature above 44 degrees. So add an extra, get up to plus 20. Right there. Purple slug should start going. And we'll just need some eggs. 50 purple eggs. So while I was waiting for the purple slugs to get going, I researched a hard drive, and if you would look at this, a little turbo fuel action. Wow. Okay, sweet. Uh, now we should be good to grab these slug eggs, 50 of them, and do our little research for the low slime processing. Which I probably should have done a long time ago, but I didn't, so don't judge me. Okay, let's see what we got for low energized slug slime. Actually, I want to see... yeah. Blue slug in the composter. Purple slug in the composter. It's the same ratio. That's it. Literally just blue, yellow, purple. One to one. So the miner needs seven and a half low energized slug slime, so I need seven and a half slugs, which interestingly enough. Let me pull up my uh, slug layout again. Okay, so we're making fifteen slugs a minute with just my small half setup I have here. And we need six to recycle back around. So I should have nine leftover slugs. So literally just the leftovers of a blue or purple or yellow slug farm will fund my energized slug slime for the crystals. Cool. All right, so I'm just gonna need to make a small blue, yellow, or purple farm. And then just the leftovers will farm my crystal mining corporation that I'm building from the ground up. Oh yeah, how do I make those power shark crystals? Low energized slug slime and quartz crystals? Cause I need uh, I need those for the Xeno Zapper or whatever it's called, right? Xeno Basher, yeah. All right, so let's kind of make a plan here. Figure out really what we want to do. Obviously, the end goal is to get quantum crystals flowing with energized slug slime, but I know I need the composter for that. That's in fix-it farming. It's here. I need apples and cotton. And a bunch of rotors. So I guess we'll make these really quick, unlock this. I don't really understand the fertilizer, but I have a feeling it just makes more food out of your crops. And then we'll also see what this last node is, because it might be something fun. So, see you in a sec. Quack. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. I did not have enough glass to make greenhouse modules everywhere, and I don't want to go back to the Tier 1 factory. I need the Vaxxit system really bad. So I just made this. Um, these two are for cotton, and these two are for apples. So make some of those, unlock that milestone, and be happy. So while I'm waiting for the cotton and apples, and really the, the light purple slugs... I kind of want to get my energized slug slime ready, or like my, the base ready, the base layer, not like the base, like a fortress. And I just don't know where to do it. I'm kind of, I was kind of thinking about, I want to make it look cool. I really don't want to do it here. I, I think it's stupid. It sits right next to my really cool big building. I was thinking about maybe doing it, like making a building wrap around this line here little bridge and then I was thinking about maybe I do it here there's the entrance to my quantum stuff so it wouldn't be so far maybe I could do it like up this I, I don't really know what I want to do all right so I decided to go for the little bridge build 
I have some ideas on how to make it look pretty cool, and I think it'll look good next to this building as well, and not be this just blank spot here. But uh, in the meantime, my cotton and apples became ready, so we should be able to unlock the composter. There, what's this? Expert farmer. Oh, oof. Platform mark two. Oh, I need rubber. Oh, what the heck? All right, so I'm a little ways away from that. I think a lot, actually. I don't think I think aluminum is still the next phase. Oh, whatever. For now, now that I have the composter, I'm just going to continue with what I was doing here. Now, what does the composter do? What, uh, what is its capabilities? Uh, low energized slug slime. Uh, bi so fertilizer. Out of biomass. Biofuel. And you can make solid biofuel out of the uh, little biomass capsules. So technically this comes as a byproduct. Just don't know about the ratios. What about fertilizer? Where do you use that in? Oh. You can turn it into solid biofuel. There's got to be a way to use it in the farming stuff. Yeah, fertilized crops. Huh, okay. Guess we'll figure it out later. Oh, interesting. There's a bunch of fertilizer recipes for pretty much probably everything that you can make in the farm. All right, so how are we looking on our light purple slug luck? Oh, nice. Two of them. Violet slugs. All right, well, we can come back to the violet and the lime later and just delete this for now. Okay, so I believe... I believe this is it. I'm going to bring 30 dirt in to there. And then out, I should get... I don't know how much slug slime. And then some slugs. And I'm going to take both of these over into my little crystal cave. And I'm going to mine crystals with that. And I'm going to make quantum cables with that. The extra blue slugs. So I know that I'm going to need to mine. I'm going to need seven and a half energized slug slime. And I'm going to have nine slugs. I'm going to have nine extra slugs after um, I go my, my loop. So that means I'll have one and a half slugs per minute left extra. So I'll be able to use one and a half slugs per minute to make quantum cable, which is probably not enough. That's not good. Okay, I know where I screwed up now. It's because I'm making 60 grainy snail food in here, not 20. So I'm actually, this is only half what I need. I need two more of those. Which should not be the worst thing in the world to do. Okay, it's <laughs> it's not the prettiest looking thing in the world, but this actually works for two blue slug terrariums. I've got oh, a lot. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven incubators, and that's it. Nothing else. No need temperature, don't need humidity because they're blue. Seven incubators on both of these which each do 15 per minute, so I'm processing 30 eggs per minute. And I'm consuming 12. So I have 18 left over. So now we need to compost seven and a half of them, and then we can take the other 10 and a half blue slugs and turn them into quantum cables. This isn't ideal, because uh, I'm just kind of making my numbers up as I go, but I think it's going to work pretty nicely. Rest in peace, blue slugs. That sound, that sound kind of makes me uncomfortable, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we do have low energized slug slime though. Look at that. That is terrible noise. Oh, you poor slug. Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. You're the lucky ones. Consider yourself lucky. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, well, now that I've gotten over the uh, pulverizing of these poor blue slugs and the absolute forced intercourse that they're having right now in these terrariums, uh, I wanted to kind of show you guys what this whole thing looked like from top to bottom. So, like I said earlier, 30 dirt in and 30 slugs coming out. But 12 of those 30 are going back into the system. So I'm actually only making 18 slugs coming out of the system. And then I also made this belt bridge as really more of a prototype just to kind of see what it looked like to get my dirt over towards the slug bridge without it looking too bad. I like it so far, but I don't know. I, I just don't know how I feel about it as a whole. All right. I would like to decorate this, and I have some ideas, and it involves these walls, those ones, and then the opposite ones, so these ones. So yeah, something like that, and then I can kind of like crisscross them here and there. Unless I just want to do that one pattern over and over, that could be kind of cool. So this actually worked out pretty good because this pattern stopped right where there's this little incline in the floor. And I'm really not sure what to do with the windows on this incline. So I guess we'll do that next, figure that out. Now, do I stick with the diagonal pattern or do I do something different up here because it's up here? Maybe even switch the kinds of windows. Let's do this pattern on the other side first. And we can make a call. There we go. Backside's done. So, what can I do to this side that is cool? Maybe I could, like... Ooh. Make this go one taller here. Ooh. Liking this. Okay, okay, I like that, I think. That's better, it just needs to be black. Okay, 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 I like that, I like that. The same thing here. I think it'll look better during the day. I definitely want to make that angled right there. I think it's looking pretty good. It's good enough for what I want to accomplish. I like how it's built into the bottom of the, or the, the little bridge there. Yeah, I think that looks better. Now the last question is, it's not even a question, it's, I'm going to put a roof on it. What kind of roofs can I do? Isn't there glass roofs? Okay, so I went through and did a little extra detailing on this building, and I think it made it pop just a little bit more. I do think there's more that I should do. I just don't know what. So I'll probably leave this as is for now until I decide that it's too ugly and needs to be modified. But at the same time, I really, really like this because it looks like a slug or a, a worm or something. Look at that, look at the front. It looks like a worm. Totally unintentional, I swear. swear. So I, I, I'm sure I'll keep the general structure of it. <laughs> Maybe I'll make it look more like a slug. I don't know. So next up is really want to get the quantum crystals going. <laughs> this all this all was just to make the miner work on the quantum crystals. Uh, like I said, I think last episode, right at the end, I do have some ideas for what to do here, and 
doing that bridge there was kind of a test in long and narrow because that's exactly what this cave is and I want to set up all my quantum crystal manufacturing right in here and I think I mean just looking at this like I should be able to do a good part of it fortunately a lot of the facts and stuff is a one-time build or like it, it it doesn't need to continuously produce so the thing is while we were building the uh, slug stuff I had some item drive mark twos going I got seven of them and I want to make this item drive mark three and the reason is I believe that this node right here and potentially this node here might be more speed to your input and output to the Nexus. I don't know exactly what all this is, but I have heard that there is speed increases. So I want to unlock this real quick. Let me go grab some automated wiring. I'll be right back. And we're back. Let's see what we got hidden under here. Also, we get item storage mark three, which on its own is just cool because it's probably, I don't know how many fix it bits or whatever, but it's probably quite a few. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this one a secret for a second. We got item drive mark four, which is gonna be eight fix it bytes. So three must be four, so fix it bytes. So tier th mark three is 200 items per hard drive. And we do need these power shard crystals and some item drive mark threes to unlock the mark four. And this must be the mark five which we need plastic to unlock and two of probably the mark four okay so here we go okay so I asked the dev about this and this enable push rule was over here too and I believe this increases speed so we'll have to check our nexus in a minute or whenever next time we're over there and see if the speed went up because in my last video I noticed that it was 30 items per minute which is the one processor I think so we'll see if that goes up to like 60 or something what do we need to unlock this <laughs> fluid drive mark 3 darn it so what do we need for fluid drive mark 3 wait wait, 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 wait. fluid drive fluid drive I don't know if that's intentional or not I feel like it might be, but I'm going to report it anyway. Okay, well, there's been an update to uh, Satisfactory Plus, and they actually reworked the Quantum Crystal MAM tree. So I'm going to give you the highlights real quick. Um, the beginning part is pretty much the same. You have to find crystals and unlock all the base parts, your terminal, blah, 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 blah. And you instantly, the next thing you do is unlock the Drive Mark 1. Now, remember before, it used to be the item drive and the fluid drive separately. Now the only separate things is you see the item server here on this node and the fluid server here on this node. So you can see I have like random nodes unlocked just because of the way they uh, reorganized it. But the actual hard drive, the drive mark one here that you put into the server is going to be all universal. There used to be item drives and fluid drives. Now it's just one drive, which is cool. And where we kind of left off before the update was unlocking this Drive Mark III, um, which cost three Mark IIs and some assembly, uh, whatever it is, automated wiring. And I like how he did this, because you have to have automated wiring unlocked to get this node, and it actually takes automated wiring to build a Drive Mark III. So we'll get a few of these going, and the reason we're going to get a few of these going is because item drive mark 4, or drive mark 4, takes three drive mark 3s, and then some of these power shard crystals, which I just started making a little temporary, literally just one fluid conditioner worth of these, just to get some stocking up. Um, but the biggest reason I want to get here right now is because I want to figure out what this is, this new network tier. Now I am going to need some white slugs, which I might actually have 25 sitting around already. And I'm guessing I'm going to need 5 Mark IV item drives. But uh, I want to know what new network tier is. So I'd like to figure that out. But as far as the rest of the changes to the Quantum Crystal system, 
There's still item sender receivers, fluid sender receivers. And I'd like to find out what's behind this item sender, sender node here, if it's something good. But I'm guessing down the middle here, I mean, it, it looks pretty straightforward. You have item drive, or drive mark 1, drive mark 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It'll be all the way up to drive mark 8 here. And then the final one is a new network tier, which I really just want to figure out what that is. Uh, then you also have the human teleporter here and a couple, couple nodes, which seems a little late to me, but I'm fine with that. So honestly, I'm just going to go through and unlock everything that I can right now. Um, there's slugs that are blocking me out of a couple of these nodes. But I actually have the lime and the violet. Oh no, this is not violet slug. Okay. You would think it is. Maybe because I haven't put it in my inventory. Anyways, I'm going to unlock as much as I can here. And uh, see how it goes. Okay, it's only been a couple minutes, but I had a bunch of production going sloppily, as we know. And I should be able to unlock a few things. So let's hit this fax up item sender first, which I should not need to use ever, but I want to see this node. And then we have a... Oh, look at that! New network tier. 10 drive mark 3s. So I'm, a, I'm quite a bit of time away from that. I'm not sure this is going to actually get me anything now. I kind of want to hold off for this. 10 of the Mark 3s. I'm going to do that. I'm going to hold off for 10 Mark 3s. So it'll be a little bit. The other thing I wanted to do, now that I have the uh, little cubes, is finally make my Xenobasher. So I don't, I don't have to use the Pinch Whacker anymore. So let's equip this bad boy. Boom. Yes. <laughs> oh, so much better. Alright, so while those Mark 3s are being made, I'm going to put my miner down and figure out how many quantum crystals per minute I'm actually going to get. And then I can figure out my production and really what I want to do in this cave permanently. Okay, so we'll let that pipe fill up. And I'm kind of curious, I'm pretty sure you could put these energy modules on here so I can get even more quantum crystals out of them. So once the fluid enters and we actually get a real production number, I'll put those energy modules on there and see how much it actually changes it. Now, if I remember correctly, yeah, if you look on the description there in the bottom right, bonus to production, 25%. So I get a 75% bonus in production. So I should be getting way more quantum crystals than I need. I might not even need those energy modules. Guess we'll see. All right. So again, while I was waiting, I threw this together, and this is not my typical flow chart. Hopefully, I didn't screw anything up. But what's highlighted in yellow is what I need to bring in in order to automate. It'll be 15 quantum cable per minute, and then it'll be five stabilized quantum crystals. So what, what's going to end up happening is all this is to make 10 stabilized quantum crystals per minute. I'm going to take 5 and make cable out of it, and then I'm going to take another 5 and just store it. And the reason that I'm storing some of the stabilized quantum crystals is that this is just my automated production that I would like to run all the time, at least for now. And then these recipes are recipes that are not just going to run all the time. They're going to be present, and they're going to have they're going to be ready to roll. But these are the hard drives, and then these quantum cable adapters, which... From what I've seen, I really don't need that many quantum cable adapters. So I'm just going to kind of make them as I need them. But uh, these hard drive recipes, as I get them, I'm just going to plop down and I'll have like smart plating sitting in a container. I'll have the automated wiring sitting in a container. So that whenever I start to feed in this first into the hard drive mark one, things will just start going and it'll make my highest hard drive. Or I can modify it and make whatever hard drive I want. But bottom line is that this does not need to run all the time because I don't need basically an unlimited amount of them. I need a set amount based on uh, how much storage I'm going to need. So this is kind of my plan, and I'm going to double check here. I, I'm pretty certain that I'm going to have this many lead, iron, and zinc ingots in my other factory that I'm just throwing away right now as ingots. So I'm going to double check that, and then the only other thing I need to bring in are blue slugs, and then obviously our quantum crystals. But we have the blue slugs left over from the uh, 
energized slug slime plant. We actually have more than this. So I'll be able to either make more energized slug slime or have more blue slugs or whatever. I can figure out what I want to do with it. So I'm in pretty good shape. Okay, so I did figure out I do not have enough zinc ingots in my large factory to make this work. So I'm going to have to find a sapphirite node somewhere to make some zinc plates in this factory. Because I don't... Zinc plates is like the most most needed thing besides quantum crystals for my plan. But speaking of quantum crystals, let's see how... Uh, how many quantum crystals per second we're getting, or per minute? 120. 120 per minute. That's way plenty. That's double what we need. So, I guess we'll just sink the excess for now, because I'm not going to be able to get enough sink plates to make stabilized frames to make this worth it. Alright, and finally, the last thing I want to do for this episode is finish up this... This new network tier but I want to do it over by my nexus so I can try and figure out what changed let's run over there okay let's try and figure out what this upgrade is so I've got uh, one of them that I can unlock at this exact moment so unlock new network tier so let's look at this and see if anything changes Work tier. Oh, I don't know what it is. New network tier. Darn it. I don't know what that is. And, alright, well, let's unlock the uh, item drive Mark IV while we're here. And have the stuff. And, okay, so item drive Mark V takes the plastic. Ooh, look at, we can see all these. I like that these are locked behind space elevator parts. I really do. Oh, boy. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, so that's not happening for a long time. But M Drive Mark IV is pretty good. Eight bytes or whatever, I think. So 400 items per drive. But anyways, let's see what the Item Drive Mark IV takes. Or it's just a drive now. Drive Mark IV. Power Shard Crystals. Okay, same thing though. Like, I'm just going to need those when I need them. I'm not going to have to constantly produce them. So this continues to fall in line with my plan but that's gonna wrap it up for this episode make sure to subscribe and like and we'll see you next week